Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. It was that start of a journey really for us. And uh, so we all went vegan, literally almost overnight. And uh, we then thought, well, if I don't know about this, I don't know about the dairy industry, then I'm sure there's lots of other people that don't either. So let's start telling other people and publish a magazine. Continue watching to find out more. Buen día means good day in Spanish. I'm Marco. The love-filled citizens of Bolivia wish the splendors of heaven be reflected in your lives and on our plates when we replenish our bodies with peace-loving foods. Heartwarming viewers, welcome to Supreme Master Television. Today we are having a show featuring our honored guest, Mr. Keith Coomber, whose family-minded values extend out to all the things on the planet. I'm one of the directors of Prime, Prime Impact. Uh, Prime Impact um, is a publishing company and also an events organizing company as well. Uh, we started uh, really with exhibitions many years ago um, and have developed into uh, uh, publications as well. So mainly in the health sector. So uh, we started with yoga and mind, body, soul events. So all to do with health. Um, and then we moved into veganism um, a few years ago. Uh, so we now produce magazines and also uh, run exhibitions in all of those sectors. Prime Impact's publications include Vegan Life Magazine, Plant Based Magazine, Plant Based Daily Recipes, Be Kind Magazine, Om Yoga and Lifestyle Magazine, Om Yoga Teacher Training Guide. Om Yoga, Tribal Guide, and plus more. Their exhibitions and events are the Mind Body Soul Experience London, the Om Yoga shows in London and Manchester, and the Vegan Life event in London. They even have a photographic and design studio that works with plant-based companies to help market their products and services. Starting his journey with a vegetarian diet and promoting yoga events, Mr. Coomber was unaware of the saddening processes in the dairy industry until receiving some enlightening information from his daughter. She started telling me about the dairy industry. Um, you know, I'd never, I hadn't eaten meat for a long time, but. She really opened my eyes to the dairy, the whole dairy industry. So it was kind of, it was that journey, it was that start of a journey really for us. And uh, so we all went vegan, literally almost overnight. And uh, we then thought, well, if I don't know about this, I don't know about the dairy industry, then I'm sure there's lots of other people that don't either. So let's start telling other people and publish a magazine. So we were the first to publish um, a vegan title in the UK. Uh, that went on to the newsstands. And I remember now there's a few people that, that um, emailed afterwards and said they can't believe it. They, they can see Vegan, um, a magazine on newsstands. And they were absolutely so, so happy. And that made it all worthwhile. And we thought, well, you know, if, if one person is happy about that, there's got to be a lot more. Let's, let's really push this. Mr. Coomber and his team soon understood the market that they were trying to reach very quickly and realized that many had a preconceived idea about the word vegan. So Prime Impact actively published a magazine focused on the food-minded individuals using the term plant-based, as well as in a sense created double the impact. So the first thing was vegan title um, and then we developed other ones. Um, so plant-based magazine was our second that came along um, and that's because people we thought didn't really necessarily want to be titled with being vegan so uh, of course plant-based is a diet veganism really is a whole lifestyle so we developed um, that second magazine and then events off the back of that as well so um, we just wanted to, to, to get the word out about veganism so that was a real inspiration 
the subscribers to Vegan Life magazine are predominantly vegan at 60%, but surprisingly the subscribers to Plant Based magazine comprise of only 17% that are vegan, meaning there is a huge interest in plant based food options from vegetarians and possibly even meat eaters on how to create plant based dishes. Mr. Kumberg elaborates on the second magazine's details. Well, Vegan Life, uh, because it covers everything, um, so they're interested not just in the food, because I think that's where most people start. They think, you know, vegan, they think food, but then they want to know more about the, the, the wider aspects. So they want to know about animal cruelty, uh, they want to know about the environment, and so that magazine covers all of those aspects. As I said, with the other magazines, like Plant Based, it is purely food. So they're interested in diet and in health, um, and realize now that a plant-based diet can really be healthy. Uh, so, you know, things have changed an awful lot um, over time where people used to be advised that, that veganism was um, really quite a restrictive diet. And uh, you know, it makes me laugh now when I think it's not, how can it be restrictive? We've got 250,000 um, plants that are edible. Um, so it's far from restrictive, it's actually, it broadens your horizon because you can cook so many more things. All this talk about food is making me hungry. We will take a minute to cook up a tasty new vegan treat. We will be back in just a moment. Please enjoy some inspiring messages right here on Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to our show. Prime Impact's history of organizing yoga events is reflected in their evolving publications that share a message of unity and peace with oneself through our lifestyle and diet. Vegan Life magazine is a highly educative publication which has information on all aspects of the vegan lifestyle. Prime Impact caters to and educates not only the consumers, but also suppliers and stockists. Mr. Coomber explains how he bridged this gap of supply and demand. It's grown quite a lot. Um, in the beginning, um, there weren't that many companies, um, but we've seen such a massive growth in new startups, um, and they all obviously want to get their products out there. Um, we had a bit of a dilemma when we actually first started with Vegan Life magazine because um, we found that um, while people wanted to um, get the products out and, and for people to understand that they were on the shelves, of course many vegan companies were not able to get their products on the shelves in supermarkets. So we thought, well, we need to address this. We need to help more vegan companies. So we produced another magazine which is called uh, Vegan Trade Journal. Um, and that really goes to all the buyers in, in lots of the top supermarkets, independent stores, um, and we're now expanding that into various organizations as well, so that um, like schools, for example, colleges, um, health um, centers, hospitals, care homes. So we're trying to target all the catering people within all of those organizations, as well as the buyers in supermarkets because it's about two things. It's about choice and it's, all, and it's also about um, the growth in, in plant-based and vegan products. So, of course, people that go into hospital really do want a choice. And what we found is that um, lots of caterers don't understand what a, um, a vegan meal really looks like. Um, so we're trying to educate them as much as we possibly can. And of course, if there's products that are available within the magazine they get to know about those products so we're trying as much as we can to promote every vegan product so of course that comes full circle with advertisers in the other magazines that we do because now they can see them on the shelves we can see them in the um, magazines as well so they advertise in both areas so we're just trying to you know square that circle between the supermarkets and also consumers 
Mr. Coomber reaffirms that the trend towards peace and veganism has definitely increased since the early days of Vegan Life magazine. We've seen amazing growth, um, you know, absolutely tremendous. When we first started the magazine, there was maybe uh, one percent of the population in the UK that were vegan. Um, and that's really only a guess. Um, we actually funded some research um, in, with, together with uh, Vegan Society to actually understand how many people recognise themselves as being vegan. And at that particular time, it was around 600,000, maybe 700,000. And that was the, throughout the whole of the UK. Um, and now we estimate it's something like 6 to 7%. So, and that's over five years. So it's been, you know, an amazing growth. This trend of peace is music to heaven's ears, as heaven is taking note of all our actions and thoughts, so as to gift us with heavenly rewards accordingly. Thank you for your wholesome attention. Please join us again on July 7 for part 2 of Prime Vegan Impact with Kid Cumber Vegan right here on Supreme Master Television. For more information on Prime Impact events and media, please visit primeimpact.co.uk. Honorable viewers, thank you for your company today. Coming up next is Team Quote Whose Love Will Win, Part 2 of 9, on Between Master and Disciples, right after noteworthy news. May all of your appointed angels watch and protect you. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash VEG. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique VEG. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada VEG. Chương trình của chúng tôi cung ứng nhiều ngôn ngữ. Xin xem suprememastertv.com/schedule và suprememastertv.com/veg.